Good morning. I'm back with another floss tube. I got my coffee. So grab whatever you're going to drink. I don't know how long this one's going to be. It might be a tiny bit longer. I don't know. I did get a lot accomplished. I, I feel like it. We're still rearranging and everything. So I wasn't always stitching and I've been reading a lot. And journaling so that takes out takes time out of my stitching and it's okay <laughs> plus I had doctors and things like that but this is season four episode 38 and this is my floss tube where I talk about primarily my cross stitching so, I do have to finish for the week, and I worked on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different whips. Nope, eight, nine whips. So, for the week, my total was only 4,300. I'm okay. I'm okay with it. So, first one, All Hallows Eve which I will be pulling out again today. And I just got a hundred stitches in right along here. But this is the start of one of the witches. So I did this one for FBC Ingo and that's another reason why it's being pulled out today. I normally have everything in my lap. I can't right now because I got two dogs in my lap. <laughs> okay, then I also worked on my fairy flower garden, Chatelaine. Yeah. Wait. No. Goes like this. So I worked on this a little bit here and then along here. And that's it. A hundred stitches. It's so pretty. This is on a uh, garden party by Be Stitch Me. 32 count, I think it is. Yeah. So this one is going up for the week. Then, I'm showing you all my little ones. Then I worked on, where are you? You're not there. Moonstone. And this is a I'm going crazy. Moonstone. Carolyn Manning. Yeah. And I worked through here. I actually got 800 stitches on it. So. I'm pulling that back out this week. Then I worked on Bellatrix. Just working my way down. And she got 200 stitches. Yeah, it was for two different days. And I'm doing her on, it's a bee stitch me. And I cannot remember the name of it just yet, but she'll be coming out again today. Then I also worked on my haunted library and I worked on the bookshelves a little bit and then I decided I was going to complete colors starting with the lowest. So I just went everywhere. But in this day I finished seven 
colors completely. I love seeing those zeros. This is uh, Haunted Library by Lola Crow, and it's on Be Stitch Me Phantasm, wait, I think. I can't remember. And I don't have everything pulled out here. Then I, and on that one, I did 500 stitches. And then I also worked on Dark Queen of the Earth for my temperature sale yesterday, which I started. Just got 100 down here. This is some fabric I dyed myself. And yeah, she'll be coming out more often because I have her as part as, of the temperature sale. Then I also worked on Fall Fairy Dimensions Kit. I worked on this yesterday with uh, Beth, the Steadfast Stitcher, in her group. She was having uh, Fall Craft Day. And so this is the one I pulled out and I worked through here working my way over. I'm trying to work my way over to half the page. And then I'm going to work all the way down. Now, my finish. I got Draco done. The Harry Potter Gnomes by Maya Stitch. Yeah. So, first one I did I finished drawing. It was given to me. Then I worked on Harry and then Hermione. Then Draco. And they all turned out so cute. I want to make these into stand ups, but probably won't be this week because of the fact I need some. Uh, Walnut shells. But that's all that I stitched on. Yeah, I went through the whole list. So yesterday I started my temperature cell, which I picked 10 whips that are fall themed, numbered them zero through nine, and like today is the high for today is 83. So number three for me is Beltrix. So I will be doing 100 stitches on it today. Yesterday was eight. So it was Dark Queen of the Earth. Until winter starts, I'm going to be using these same 10 projects. If I happen to finish one, I will just slip in my next oldest fall theme with. So, my task for the week is to do the daily temp. I'm also going to start doing um, October 1st, so it won't be this week, it'll be next week. Uh, doing a monthly focus where one day a week I work on a certain whip trying to get it done. Um, it's going to be the Cottage Garden, uh, the Woodland Series, and I'm working on the Reindeer right now, which will finish all of the winters. Um, I'm also going to start, because I'm missing my full coverages, Full coverage Friday. And I have to stitch at least 500 stitches and then I can switch to a different whip, whatever else is calling me. But I went ahead, I put all my full coverages, no matter what designer they were. Um, yeah, I've even got dimension kits on there. So ended up being 21 of them. All in all, they're not all hate. Some are small dimension kits and all that. The first one 
for October. So all October, starting this week even. I'm going to start it this week because I want to. All of October, I will be focusing on magic study. So one day a week at the least, magic study. Um, I'm also going to try and finish the Haunted Library by next month, by the end of next month. So this week I want to get another thousand or two thousand. I think I've got six thousand left on it, so I can do it. And then I gotta work on my astrology cat. Yeah, I got a lot to do, <laughs> and it's okay. Then I also want to finish up my ABC Ingo. I am five behind. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to work on bell tricks and the five patterns or five days for our letters for the ABC Ingo that I'm missing, which is Butterfly Essence, the Halloween Village Afghan, All Hallows Eve, and Raven's Spooky Alphabet twice. And then I will just have two more letters, and then I will have a blackout. And I really like that idea. So, which the other two letters is elegant, elegant alphabet. Well, I'm calling it Raven Spooky Alphabet. It comes from uh, Lavender and Lace, Elegant Alphabet, and Raven by Nora Corbett. And then the last, the second to last letter is in all ties by Doreen Jones. So I got a lot to do. <sighs> yeah, that's it. I have started playing my planning my cross stitching journal for next month. And I will finish it this week. Uh, let's see. What did I get? Okay. Haul. I was good. I did not buy any cross stitching. But I did buy... Well, I got Book of the Month Club. And Book of the Month Club, uh, the first month, and I'll put it down below, but the first month, the book is $5. And then after that, I think it's $16. And then you pay shipping. And I saw this book, and yes, I wanted it bad. And I have already started to read it. So Fantasium, Fantasia, however you say it, I can't say it, but so far I'm enjoying it. I'm not that far into it. Let's see. I'm on day night two, so I'm not that far into it, but I'm enjoying it so far, so far. Then, on the second-hand market, I got Iron Flame. And I'm still looking for Fourth Wing. So, I'll be getting the, that one as soon as I find it for a good price. I like to buy books second-hand. Are they perfect? No. But I get books to read them. And if I like a book, like I like this series, I will read them multiple times. Lisa did not believe me until I showed her one of my favorite books by Anne Rice, The Witching Hour. And it literally was falling apart. And she's like, you've read this a lot, which it was paperback too, so they fall apart easier. And it's like, yes, when I like books, I'll reread them. So, I got our Iron Flame, and that was it from a haul for this week, I'm thinking. I almost bought a pattern this morning. 
except for where, who did the pattern. It's not on her site no more. So I can't do it. And um, I found this pattern because someone gave me a shout out. Um, the official Mermaid Cove. And she did a watercolor, it's a watercolor witch by Hey Lady Creations. And I went on there and I cannot find that pattern. I want that pattern, but I cannot find it. So I'm gonna keep looking. Yeah. It is so pretty. Y'all got to check out her floss tube. She's a newer floss tuber. And she's only got 100 or 200 subscribers. And she's got some gorgeous work, works. And check out the watercolor color witch. Or mermaid. Is there a mermaid or a witch? I can't remember. She, she's got a lot of different patterns period mermaid was her code word for a giveaway that's it i think i can't think i need more coffee but go check out her page and show her some love hit like and subscribe she's got some gorgeous whips and I think I will see y'all next week. I do like to keep my videos short because one problem I've been having is everybody I like to watch a lot, their videos are like two hours long and I don't have that time and it's breaking my heart. So, and I know others feel the same way, you know? I like videos to be under an hour. An hour is good. An hour and under. But these two and three hour videos, when they're not whip parades, <laughs> kill me. I love a whip parade though. Yeah, I love all the whip parades. So, I'm going to go. And I hope everyone has a blessed day.